Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I have a bit of a special video today. Uh, one of my subscribers decided to send me a, a bunch of things uh, from Hawaii. Uh, his name is Oricom, and he actually runs a squadron in War Thunder called Mage. And uh, he hit me up in the comments section uh, of one of my videos. Uh, I asked him to DM me on Discord, and we discussed, you know, where to send the stuff. And, well, here it is. Uh, it's a big box, as you can see. Priority mail, and uh, it's straight from Hawaii, of all places. And he basically said, have you ever tried any Hawaii stuff uh, when it came to sweets and things like that? And I said, no, uh, I never have. So uh, my guess is that this is going to be full of Hawaiian little treats and interesting stuff uh, to try. So I'm really looking forward to it, to be quite honest. And I know a few of other few people have asked uh, to send things, uh, things like that. The best way to sort this out uh, is to hit me up on Discord once again in a private message, and then I can give you an address to send it to. And uh, also when it comes to videos and things like that, I know I'm a bit late on the economy stuff, and a few other news items. It's been a busy few days. Uh, I'll definitely say that. So I'll get to it uh, as soon as I can, is the best way I can put it. So anyway, I have my, uh, <clears throat> have my trusty Stanley knife. So we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. Because I feel like that's always the best way to do things. quite interesting uh, trying to explain to the mailman who the European Canadian was uh, <laughs> because obviously it isn't my proper name and sending stuff uh, via mail normally you need to have some identification luckily in Canada all you have to do is prove you live where you live so it's not too much of an issue one side open other side open. Oops. Let's just make sure I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And here we go. Bloody hell. Flat rate envelope. That's interesting. Right. So I'm going to read out this little thing as long as it says, unless it says don't. Flipping hell. How much stuff is in here? A lot of fruits and wonderful things like that. <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go. So there's a list of uh, confectionery uh, that is in here. And um, it has a little blurb at the back from Oricon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the, the blurb. It says, You will notice that there's quite a lot of Lee Hing candies. Well, this is because it's what we had when we were children. The good majority of children in Hawaii eat something from this list. Also, the juice is good, period. Please message me on Discord if you want me to send you taro brand items. Hawaiian hot sauces and Hawaiian pancake waffle syrup. Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> please consume these magical items on a video. Oh, and also, the Lihing powder, when wet, can be a bit messy. So when eating, it, do not wear a white shirt or there will be red stains. I hope you enjoy what I have sent to you. <laughs> well, this sounds a bit worrying. Right. There's a bunch of stuff here. Bloody hell. Right, so I'm going to try and work out what is what. We'll just move this over here. Uh, so, we'll start off with these. We have some dino worms. The Li Hing gummy worms. There you go. They're pretty cool, aren't they? I, f I feel like they're going to be very similar to the gummy worms we have, but they seem to have a an odd black powder on them or something like that, so they might be slightly different. What else do we have in here? We have some Mau, uh, Mui, or M-A-U-I Caramax. These are creamy caramel macadamias. So some nuts with some caramel on them. That'll be very nice. And also some chocolate as well. They look like a little lava prize. Then we have some Hawaiian candy ginger wafer cookies. Now you can't go wrong with ginger wafer cookies. I've actually had them in the past. Not Hawaiian style, but uh, 
Oh, these have been mashed up a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> we also have some fortune cookies. So I'll definitely make sure to try one of them uh, for you. And then we have Li Hing Strawberry Sour Belts. Strawberry Sour Belts with Plum Powder. Plum Powder? Strawberry and plum is not a flavor combination I think I've ever tried. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. I think I might actually get my wife in on this, uh, just so on camera we can uh, try them together and have a go. So these are the Aloha Made. There's a six pack of them in here, as you can see. And uh, this is called a Pasaguava. It's very odd actually seeing products now, because I'm so used to them being in uh, English and French. Uh, only seeing them in English <laughs> instead of having the French stuff. These uh, cans have been banged up a little bit, but they seem to have survived in one piece. So I'm incredibly happy about that. <laughs> Otherwise, the box may have been ruined. And then we have some Botan rice candy. I'm guessing these are like those fake cigarettes that we used to have as kids, uh, which uh, is pretty cool. Oh, they have a children's sticker. Well, look at that. Got to put that on my wall. Oh, what's this little thing? Honua honey. Macadamia blossom. Eight sticks. How do you do these? Serving size is one teaspoon. Do you just eat them? Or do you, do you put them in something? Or, oh, no, it's just strip. I'm an idiot. It's just strips of honey. So you can put them on anything. There you go. There's some Honua honey. Right. And we have some sour lychee, I'm guessing is how you say it. It's sour gummy lychee pieces. I have no idea what lychee is, but it looks like some kind of powdered sugar mix. Uh, let's see. Sugar, corn syrup, water modified pea starch, yeah, and gelatin. Very similar to what I've seen uh, before. All right, let's have a look at this. Ahi tuna jerky. Tuna jerky. Now I've seen everything. It's teriyaki flavored, though. Uh, I've seen a lot of beef jerkies. One of the things you don't see a lot in England is jerky uh, as a concept. So when I came to Canada, it was very odd for me seeing a bunch of jerky. But now, now I've seen it all. Now we have tuna. I have absolutely no idea what this is going to taste like, but I'm going to have to give it a go. Uh, this is wild, caught, all natural. So no farming stuff here. All, as you would class, organic, at least in the catching. Just turned on my other computer by accident. And then, of course... <laughs> so we have... Uh, it couldn't be a, a Hawaii thing without some macadamias. So here are some macadamias. And, as you can see, they are flavoured with Mao, uh, onion, and garlic. Uh, so that is a big bloody thing. 311 ki uh, grams of straight macadamias. That's going to be lovely. I'm actually running out of space, so I'm having to put things everywhere. I am going to try a little bit of everything. And uh, as I said, I'll get my wife involved as well. So, we have some Li Hing sour apples as well. Whoop. There you go. So I'm guessing these are very similar to the ones that I had as a kid. Yep. Uh, they, the thing is, a, a lot of these remind me of stuff I've had from my childhood, but I know they're going to taste slightly different, which is why I'm really looking forward to it. The next one, we have a Lava Bears. These are pineapple flavored. And uh, as you can see, they've been, uh, <laughs> been slightly squished uh, in the packaging. I feel feel very bad for them, but uh, they, they look good as well. Oh, we have some more Lava Bears. Strawberry flavor this time. This is much more up my alley. I like pineapple, but I definitely prefer a little bit of strawberry. Uh, so um, that'll be good. And then, oh, flip neck. Sweet Li Hing Mui. I, I have never heard of Mui, and it looks like some kind of dried grape, maybe? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a plum. Okay, it's a dried plum. So it's like a date, but it seems like much more uh, desaturated. Okay, that's interesting. So this is the mui, and then this is the product. Definitely dried, as you can see. 
And now we have, oh, rock candy. You can't go wrong with rock candy. Something that in England we used to have a lot was a lot of rock candy. And uh, it, it used to be something that was synonymous with the seaside. So to see it once again uh, is lovely. I've never had plum rock candy, though, which is what this is uh, here. So that would be interesting. All right, next thing we have is some red coconut balls. These are confection. So I'm guessing I don't eat these. No, I definitely eat them. They're made out of sugar. <laughs> so red coconut balls from uh, Hawaii candy, made in Hawaii. You you guys have a lot of local stuff in Hawaii. That that's great. Ah, I have found the powder. Oh dear, that looks really. Oh, there goes the fake cigarettes. That looks worrying. Uh, <laughs> that looks very, very worrying. Right, so uh, we have some more rock candy uh, right here. Same as uh, the one before, I believe. Uh, yes, I, the white cane. I'll, I'll have a look after. So, uh, do we have anything else? We have the uh, we have the six cans of this, uh, as I showed before. Then we have another box of the little candies. Whoops. Let's just make sure so you can see it. So there you go. And then we have this. Now this looks antagonizing. It looks worrying, but it also looks very fun. So uh, this is Lee Hing powder. It is plum powder, uh, plum, salt, licorice, uh, licorice extract, and red 40, yellow 5, and aspartame. So this is actually from Thailand, of all places. So there you go. Lee Hing powder. And it's just a straight, <laughs> it's straight 227 kilos of powder. And I have no idea what to do with it. Um, so let's just see. So it says, one big pack of Lee Hing powder. I, I highly recommend not shoving a spoonful in your mouth. It will be about as bad as the cinnamon challenge. Okay, well, it's good that we've read that. I do, though, recommend that you put it on apple and orange slices. It's excellent with them. Right, so it's like an addition. Hmm. Two small boxes of Botan rice candy to eat. Simply unwrap the candy once and then consume. Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, so make sure I don't eat the outer layer. <laughs> because I, uh, I'll tell you a good story. We went to a... Um, uh, it's, it's like a Japanese, uh, place for restaurant. And I ordered some kind of weird wrap. It was like a seaweed wrap. And, uh, I didn't realize there was a plastic layer around the edge of it. And I just, I started eating the plastic because I thought it was part of the wrap. I'd never had any, I'd never had it before. So I just ended up eating some uh, wax plastic. So that was fun. Uh, uh, let's see. The sweet Lee Hing Mui, I believe is how you say it. Uh, warning contains a seed. Okay, so I have to watch out for that one. Everything else, uh, seems self-explanatory, or at least you'd hope so. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the video here, and I will, uh, get my wife in, and we'll have a go at some of these. Alright, okay, so we're back. And, uh, this is Kit, my wife, if you haven't seen her before. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give all of these a go. Now, the only one I'm worried about is this one. This is Lee Hing powder, and it looks worrying. Uh, the the lad said to put it on oranges and stuff like that. So do you want to give this one a miss for now? Yeah, I don't yeah. find it. Right, so we'll give that we'll give that one a miss, but I promise that I'll do it in another video. Uh, then, so we have the Botan rice candy. Now you said that you've actually had some of these before, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, so they are awesome. Are they like uh like those fake cigarette things? No. 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 Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. <laughs> it looks like I've got that one wrong. All right, let's have a look. Oh, okay. So, they're little things. Fair enough. Yeah. And you actually get... A little sticker or something? Oh, hey, Bernard. A hey. sticker! In this case, it's this really awkward-looking pirate. Yeah. Oh, awkward. So, this is a pirate? Awkward pirate. <laughs> Which doesn't look great. Bernard! Oi! Get out of the box! Hey, you wanna try to pick him up? Hold on. Oh. 
No he, Bernard today. He does not want to participate. All right, here we go. Okay, so in this case, you can eat the inner wrapper, like you and the... Uh, the Japanese the, thing? The Japanese yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I already talked about that before. Mm. No, you don't know. You eat that. Oh, you eat the you wrapper? Eat that. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, it's like a uh, thingy paper. Oh, it's rice paper. That's why it's called rice candy. Oh, okay. So the whole thing's candy? Uh, rice? Or is it just that little bit? I don't know. It's got like this weird guy on the cover with no trousers on. It's definitely quite chewy. Mm-hmm. Very chewy. It's, like, it's sweet, but it's not super sweet. Hmm. Kind of candy, I like. It's quite refreshing, actually. Mm. That's what I'm looking forward to for a lot of these. I feel like there would be... Um, oh, we should have started with these, the fortune cookie. Oh, you fortune want a cookie. cookie. Uh, because one thing that uh, up here, you get a lot of sweets that are very sweet. Yeah. You, you don't get a lot of sweets that are... Oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is what they look like. Fortune crumbs. They're a, li <laughs> they're a little bit destroyed. You know, try and pick one that isn't destroyed? Okay. Oh, I got a half. Well, that one doesn't have a message in it. Oh dear. Oh! We got a whole one. We got a whole one. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you got? <clears throat> Take a step back and reflect on your heart's greatest desire. Oh, well, there you go. I like that. The nice thing about Hawaii is um there's a lot of asian culture so you're gonna find a lot of asian type foods mm. Mm. like asian influence yes just like that uh tv show oh great chef's hawaii style <laughs> yeah <laughs> we watch it on a uh, twitch sometimes just uh, on the food channel they do like 24 7 food which is pretty cool uh every new person you meet could be the one to help you the most mm. well, i suppose that's true but it also means that the people who you don't meet, or the people who you've already met, they're not going to help you. I don't know. That's an odd one. We should see what else is in that later on. And I've dropped a bit of fortune. Ooh. So what does this taste like? Bread. Bread? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically just a cookie. That's true. It's alright, though. Alright, so the next one we have is some Lee Hing Rock Candy. Mm. Now this seems to be plum flavoured. And you like plum? You're not sure? I that's, don't know. That's kind of my reaction. There you go. You can do it. Uh, for me, when it comes to plum stuff, like I, I like plums, but they have to be ripe. Uh, very ripe. What? You don't like the smell? <laughs> I don't know. What? I don't know what you're going to like. <laughs> well, I don't think we're... I'm sure there'll be some... kind of smells like terrible loo. Wow. Okay. Yeah, terrible, um, horrible lube. That is quite salty. Isn't it? At least the outer bit. It terrible. smells like terrible lube. It tastes it? like terrible oh, lube. It tastes like terrible lube. God damn. <laughs> it's definitely quite salty. What's that? The cat doesn't even like it. <laughs> like the cat doesn't like it. Oh. But no, it's... That's oh. a, it's... What? Oh, you don't want it? Yeah, no, it's weird. Uh, it's... Yeah, that's quite salty. But what, now I'm through the salty, uh, salty thing, the, the, I don't know what you call it, the layer. It just tastes, um, it just tastes like plum. So, I think that's okay. I, I don't know, I don't eat fruit. I don't know what a plum <laughs> is. I'm surprised I don't have scurvy. Yeah, one day. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's put it in the box. Oh. Alright, hey. next. Uh, I know for a fact, John, we're gonna, we're gonna save that one. I feel like you're just not going to want to do that one. Uh, red coconut balls. Mm. Do you want balls in the mouth? Sure. All right. So. God damn it, Bernard. I'm trying to pick him up, but he keeps running. 
Uh, I don't know how to... Oh, there we go. See, as I said, you're much better at this than me. Because I'm alive. So, it smells like coconut. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's simple as that. It smells like, um... You know those, like, coconut wafers you get with, like, the marshmallow part of it? That's basically what they smell like. And I feel like they're a little bit harder than them. Let's get oh, rid of that other really thing. <laughs> <laughs> Kit doesn't like coconut. So. Mm. I had a bad experience. Hmm. A lot of these you can definitely just suck on for ages, I feel. Like, um. That could be turned into something sexual. Like the, the rock candies, the other stuff. But for this one, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> And a little bit chewy, but it... Are you okay? <laughs> but it it chews into a powder. So, it's not going to be that hard for you to eat. Definitely tastes like coconut, though. If you're not a coconut fan, don't eat it. Yeah. Why are you saying coconut? Now, we have, um, we have now the Hanua honey. Now, this is macadamia blossom. Now, what we're going to do is we're not just going to try some... Uh, we're going to try it in our tea later, so then we can report back in a later video how the uh, the honey is. Because eating honey straight is not exactly <laughs> the easiest thing to do. It's generally good with stuff, right? That's more rock candy, so we've tried that. Is it the same flavor? Yeah, it's the same one. Oh hey, Bernard. Uh, now, lava bears. These oh seem... God, so cute. <laughs> these seem really uh, similar. I don't know spicy. Spicy. Well, lava, right? Oh, so yeah. Then, um, yeah, I didn't think of that. That's a good idea. So this oh, no, is... they're just going to be fruity. Oh, so, well, that's strawberry flavored. Is it very similar to the the one <clears throat> the ones we have up here? What's that? Pineapple. Oh, God, no. You don't want to try? Okay, you I try You try strawberry. I'll try pineapple. Strawberry is good. It just tastes the same as you would get a regular gummy. Yeah, so they're mm. they're pretty similar to what we're gonna get. It's not okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they they basically just taste like pineapple flavored gelatin. There you go. Now the next one we have are some sour lychee, lychee, lechu. No. I think it's lychee. Wait, what's the flavor on them? Lychee. Oh, is that the That's flavor? The... <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's an Asian thing. Okay. They, they look like sour peaches, but they are not. I'm going to give that one a big thumbs up. A lot of sugar on the outside. Definitely very acidic. Because well, they're sour, don't ask. We have more to eat. You can't just gobble one of them. But, um, yeah. the That definitely is sour. For me, when I have sour candies, I like them to be really sour. And for that one, it was just a little bit sour. So if you're a person who likes a little bit of sour, then that one was good. You think? Yeah. Yeah? I've eaten three already. Three? Yeah. Good the hell. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we have some Li Hing sour apples. Mm. So that uh, should at least be interesting. Once again, uh, sour stuff is always fun. My guess is you don't want to try any of this, do you? <laughs> All right. I'll I'll give that a go. <laughs> You like these? Mm. Oh, once again, salty overtone, and then you get hit by the uh, even though there's no salt in it. Sour gummy apples oh, with yeah, plum is. powder. Yeah, sour gummy apples with plum powder. Plum so, powder. Apple. Well, there's you a lot of put plum fucking anything on apples. Unless you, there is a plum is quite large in the Asian scene. Once again, like you were no, saying, no, no, like plum like sauces it. and things like that. Yeah, the thing that I never go for. Yeah. 
But I like that. I like that more than the one before it, I think. Mm. Why is he just waiting there? Does he want food? I don't know. Alright, the next thing we have is some Lee Hing Strawberry Sour Belt. Oh, yeah. So, that is right up our street. Once again, with plum powder. So, <laughs> so you don't just get some <coughs> strawberry things. They also have plum powder. Bloody hell. Right, so this is what they look like. Very red. There's no sour. For me, it was just sugar mm. and sweet. Yeah, maybe I, I was thinking a little bit more of a, a sass, but... It tastes like the dollar store shit that you can find up here. That one does, yeah, like the, the rainbow thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are no, I'm not. I'm just saying that's what it tastes like. Right. Uh, next on the menu, we have... Dino Worms. Now, these worry me. Because, first of all, it says it's original. Second of all, they look like gummy worms, but they have black things on them. You see that? That's probably got, um, plum powder on again. Oh, look, plum! <laughs> you gotta so, look. yeah, that's what it is. What, the black? Why wasn't why wasn't anything else black? Take one out of the bag and find out. <laughs> yeah, it's got plum powder on there. Plum? Yeah. I kinda like plum powder though. Yeah. It just uh know for a fact it doesn't go with everything. That is an interesting weird taste. I'm not sure about that one. Actually, the the initial taste wasn't great, but once you get through it, it tastes very much similar to the normal gummy worm that you would get. So, I'm actually fine with that. The next one have some ginger wafer cookies. Oh, yay. Now we both know that they're just going to be really nice anyway. Like uh, Bernard. Hey. Bernard behind us is just sat staring at all the food, and he's not actually doing anything. Oh. Ah. Try and get a whole one. There we go. So they're little discs like this. Mm. Yeah, that'd be great uh, with a oh, shit, I with a. With a breakfast tea, we'll sort it out in a sec. Um, what else do we have? Ah, yes. Mao? Is that how you Maui. said? Maui. Ma okay, Maui Caramax. Caramel macadamia nuts! This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna bring a couple of these oh. with me, if that's cool of you. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So they come in these little things, as you can see. Um, these are Hawaiian Hawaiian host Maui Caramax. Mm. And they're basically creamy caramel and macadamias covered in milk chocolate. They taste good? Mm-hmm. Good. I will save one for later because I have a bit of a challenge on my hands. It is time for the ahi tuna jerky. Teriyaki. We could probably give a bit of this to Bernard. What do you think? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Look, just because I'm awful at opening things. Alright, there we go. Oh, it, it just smells like teriyaki. There's no fish smell here. Right, so it just looks like normal jerky, as you can see here. But it's tuna flavoured. 
and teriyaki flavored. No, honey, it it is tuna. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's tuna. Oh, sorry, tuna teriyaki flavored, and it tastes very much similar to normal jerky, so I'm actually okay with that. Generally, I really like tuna. Hey, what's this? Wow. Hey. <laughs> I caught him. Caught him this time. Have a sniff. Hmm? <laughs> well, he likes it. Trying to break. Trying. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Why are you going over there? It's here. See? God damn. Hey, you know what? Just put him here. Whoop. And boop. And hey. Hey, here. So Bernard has eaten it without any complaint. He's looking for more. <laughs> well, you can't have any more. Right, okay. Now, uh, so that's okay, actually. I like that stuff. Generally, I do like jerky, though. Um, <clears throat> I might actually... It's definitely got the aftertaste of tuna. So I do want to try... I do want to try some different ones. And uh, now, macadamias... But they're Maui onion and garlic. I don't care. <laughs> there you go. And uh, also, I think because I'm I'm not gonna touch uh, the macadamias just because I'm gonna save them for later because I know Kit really likes them. So um, I'm gonna open this paso guav, and we'll give that a go. I'm guessing it just tastes like guav. Guava. Guava. Sorry. Guava. Guav would be like French or something. Oh, yeah. Not nice rocking. <laughs> right, so this is what they look like. Just mm -hmm. macadamias with... It smells like onion and garlic, which it I is. I got nuts in my mouth. Hmm. No. Does he want more? You can't have any more today. <laughs> That's all you get. It's a treat. Right, okay. It's so meaty. Who, burn it? Yeah. Yeah. So the macadamias taste like macadamias. That is a little bit still, but it should be okay. Bloody hell. Oh. Is it supposed to be fizzy? Uh, oh, no, non-carbonated, if I read the label. Yeah. So I think it tastes nice. It tastes very much like guava. Yeah. It's, um, I think uh, we'll put it in the fridge and cool it down and give it a go. I like it. The can is interesting, though, because this top bit is much higher than... What we have up here. So I don't really know why that is. Maybe it's just easy of dr ease of drinking. Anyway. <laughs> so the... The last thing that we have... That we haven't tried yet... Is the Sweet Ling Hing Mui. Okay? Now, this is plum... With stuff in it. It's got a seed in it, so be careful. I'm not eating it. Oh, come on. No. Why not? Because it's plum. Oh, come on. No. Give it a go. I'll lick it. <laughs> Fine. That's all you'll get, a lick. There you go. Oh. Yeah, it's just a plum. Here, put it in your hand. It's not gonna, it's not gonna bite you. <laughs> That's interesting. No. Oh, take it. Nope. Nope. One lick. Nope. Now that... <clears throat> that is the weirdest taste so far. Because it doesn't taste like plum. It's got sour in it. It's got a lot of acidity. Because it's like probably aged or... And a lot of age. Vinegar or something. Oh my God. <laughs> it just looks like a bag of balls. What? 
<laughs> there you go. A bag of old balls. But yeah. That definitely tastes a little bit weird, but I think that's all we have. I don't think there's anything else. So, uh, from me and Kit, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you from Oricom for sending this. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Aloha. <laughs>